Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is a special video because we are starting up a Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. You guys have been wanting this for a while. So if you're new here, we're going to be starting over because the last world actually got corrupted tragically. We're just going to like forget about that, but let's continue. So game mode Hardcore, we got difficulty locked on hard. We're going to name this once hap hardcore season two there we go and for the seed of this video in case you guys want to play in this world as well i'm going to be using the seed once hap hardcore there we go that's the seed everything else is just going to be left on default settings and let's get straight into this world i'm super excited whoa this actually looks super nice we got a little uh river going on here we have um some nice mountains up there Everything is still loading in. Back here, I think that looks like a plains biome. Hopefully it is. We got a forest. Pretty much everything we need. This is amazing. Seed once again is one tap hardcore. All lowercase, no spaces. So yeah, go ahead and use that if you want. Oh, and there's a turtle. I've never seen one of these before. That's actually so sick. All right, I'm having some good feelings about this world already. Yeah, we have we have some turtles living here. I don't know what to do with these guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep them here for now. I don't wanna hurt these guys, so I'm just gonna try to be careful. Alright, I know I should be getting a tree first, but you know, I'm just gonna kill this sheep because I want the wool. So I should be able to get my bed right away, so there should be no, like, monsters in our first night. Should be chillin'. If this is the first video that you've seen on my channel, I just want to say this series is a mix between Luke the Notable's original hardcore Minecraft series, where he like briefly voiceovers each day. Mine is like a mix of that because I do that for some parts. I also have a little bit of a let's play component in it as well, because I believe like, I don't know, you kind of get to see the world more and you just get more in depth with the world when it's more of a let's play because it goes by way too fast when you just kind of voice over what happens in a couple of seconds for each day. So since that this is season two, I'm gonna try to take things differently. I'm gonna actually try to take my time, enjoy the game, you know. You know, at the end, we're all just here to have fun. So hopefully I can provide you guys some entertainment. Ooh, we already got our first pieces of the coal, not too long. Now we on to our stone pickaxe, let's go. Okay, I don't want to bore you guys with all this mining, but pretty much I just did what everybody would do on their first day in a new world. Just gathered up some wood and just mined some stone. Now it's a new day and I've got a little bit of stuff to get going. I need food though, because I'm, I'm getting really hungry. Oh hey, there's a bee over there. Oh, and I should also mention this. I am using uh, BSL shaders right now along with a texture pack called Better Leaves 1.14. Yeah, uh, that is the texture pack, Better Leaves V2 1.14+. Alright, well for now, I'm gonna set up shop just so I can like settle down and put some things down. Okay, I need some food badly, so I'm just gonna kill one of these guys and eat its mutton. Alright, right now I'm kind of starving to death, but we got four cooked buttons, so we should be chilling. And there we go, we can finally run again and now we can get full health. I'm gonna kill one more of these guys just so I can get their mutton. These sheep are the only kind of animal that we have around right now. Yeah, well, I smelted a lot of my iron that I got, even upgraded to an iron pickaxe. And I think it is now time for some armor, I guess, because it is hardcore and we do not want to be dying. I think I should have enough for a full set, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And also a farm, I should probably start up a farm too. I need to craft a hoe. Yeah, that place is just gonna be our little, like chill place for now where we can just settle down until i find myself more of a permanent home i'm gonna just create a tiny little farm i'm just gonna put it back here all right hopefully we have some seeds in here and we have one single seed all right that's gonna have to do for now there we go we got the cd place achievement on day four i started digging out a side of a little hill where this can be like our kind of base for now all right so i just want to check in with you guys there's a lot of mo oh there's three creeper four creepers right there and uh we got some zombies chasing me i kind of got this built so far into the wall oh, oh my lord i gotta run right now hold up guys there are mobs every oh my maybe i should just go into the ground i'm not trying to die on day five already oh another creeper that exploded we're gonna we're gonna fix that later Oh, this is my first mine. Okay, let's just chill down here for a while while we wait. I did- I left this iron here. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna come back and I just never did. Alright, well, time to pass the night in here. On day five, I went back, patched up the creeper hole, and then continued working on my little hideout base kind of thing. It is now day seven, and the house is almost pretty much done on the exterior at least. It was kind of hard to plan out like a starter base, since I don't really build starter bases, but I think this one turned out pretty good though. I went back down into the mines on day 8 because I decided I need to go and mine some more because we are not very far in our tools, we still have a lot of stone tools, and then I can go back to building. Yeah, and I just did a lot of boring digging, like just digging a staircase down, hopefully I can find some like gold, redstone, maybe even diamonds. After a little bit of mining down that staircase, I eventually came across a ravine, and it looks pretty nice, I already saw some iron ore, should be interesting. 
Okay, so I was mining this coal right here, and my pickaxe actually broke right in the middle. Kind of annoying, but I think it's probably time for me to go back. I think the pickaxe breaking was just telling me I had to go back up to the surface now. Then all of a sudden, I hear a creeper drop behind me, and it was super close, but I managed to kill him. That critical hit at the last second kind of clutched up. That was a close one. On the way out, I realized I missed some iron, and it killed me on the inside because I didn't have a pickaxe to get it. I really needed a new place to live, so I just started focusing on the house, just trying to get it so, like, the inside was actually livable, because right now there was nothing inside. Okay, so I think I got the inside kind of planned out and, like, what I want to do. I'll show you guys what I mean. First, I'm gonna craft some chests because I want to, like, start placing some storage areas around in the house. Alright, so on the inside of here, we got, like, a big open place. That was some coal, I was just mining it out. But back here, I want there to be, like, a staircase that can go up because we can have a multiple- we can have multiple floors up here. Um, I think maybe this way there's gonna be a storage room. Upstairs is where I can put my bedroom and I can have all my crafting, my smelting, my armor stands, all that kind of cool stuff down in here. So I think this is starting to come out to look pretty epic. I'm pretty hyped for this, but first I got to- oh wait, I gotta- I gotta place these chests somewhere. Um... I think right here, this is where the back wall is going to be. So I'm just going to place some chests like that. So that can be where our storage system is for now. A lot of tree gathering on day 11 because, you know, my inside of like my house was mainly a lot of wood. I was experimenting with a lot of wood designs. All right, so it's day 12. I finally finished up the inside of the house, as you guys can see. I think it looks pretty dope. I kind of went with like a simple little pattern on the walls. Haven't quite finished the ceiling yet. I made a little spiral staircase over there. And also I realized there was like a weird glitch going on inside the house. So you see these two pillars at that line, that imaginary line, if I cross through it, like legs a little bit for a random reason, just, just look at this. You see that? That kind of just stops and it's only right there. I've gone to like everywhere else in my world and it doesn't really happen. So it's, it's really weird how right there, you see, I did, it does it again, it does it every time and I don't know how to fix it. I've tried uh, looking up a bunch of stuff, like allocating RAM and all that. It didn't really work, but that is our spiral staircase, and yeah, it, it kind of just leads up to nowhere right now. But our house is looking pretty dope. Can't wait to add more decorations into it. Alright, well this torch should be the last of it, and then I should be finally ready to go into my new house. I should be all settled in. Yeah, we have all of our furnaces, our crafting table, our chests, everything is here and ready to go. I think the next thing we need to work on is our food source because we don't really have that good of a food source right now. All we have are just the animals we're finding. So I think we should probably make like a little pen for the cows and the sheep that we can just kill and get their food. Because honestly, the wheat is pretty slow right now. Yeah, plus like I didn't build that big of a farm space. I, I don't know why I made it so small. But yeah, I think an animal pen would work pretty nice. Okay, so I got some of my ores smelting, we got the iron, we got the iron here again, gold there. Oh, it's real done? I forgot I only had three pieces of gold. But I think it's a time to upgrade all of our tools, because we still got uh, some stone things. Gotta craft some sticks, and I think the first thing we need to do is make a replacement pickaxe. And also, we probably should make a axe as well. There we go, and finally a sword. Then we finally have some iron gear, that looks a lot better. Right now, I'm kind of just dumping everything in the chest, but once I have more chests set up and like a better storage area, I will store everything like I used to in the last season. Also, a village would be pretty handy because, you know, we gotta get some of our hands on those pesky villagers. Okay, well, let's grab up some of our wheat and go find some cows and stuff. We can lure them into a hole at first, and then we can build like a designated pen for them. Bingo, I spotted a huge pack of cows right here. Near our house, it was pretty good. There was also some pigs, and I think there were sheep as well. Yeah, time to bring these guys back over to my house. And so I dug out a place for the time being for these cows to just stay at while I work on building them a pen. I wanted to build these guys a huge luxurious pen, because I think they deserved it, because I was going to be killing most of them, so I wanted the cows to live their last couple of days in happiness and peace. Okay, finished up their cow pen, time to grab the wheat and bring them over. So as you can see right here, we got a nice little gate. They can come inside, and we got a huge area for them. Tons of playtime with their friends, you know, they can be happy. You even got like a little bathtub where they can uh, take baths. And I also probably should make a separate one where they can drink water from, because, you know, we, we don't want them, we don't want them drinking the water they bathe in. Oh, I was about to continue with the video, and I just saw a creeper in the corner of my eye, bro. Get out of here. Okay, so back on our agenda, let's get these guys into their new home. Oh, look how happy they look. I know they're all ready to get inside their brand new house. Alright, well, you guys are in your brand new home. I'm gonna breed you guys up. There we go. You guys go have some fun. And I'm gonna leave you guys to do it. Hey, we even got the achievement. Next up, I gathered some glass because I had some plans for our second floor that included some glass. 
I wanted to make the second floor stick out from the top and there would be some glass for windows so you could like look out. I think that would look pretty cool. On day 15, I set out on an adventure to just go explore some places behind my house. I came across some sugarcane. But the biggest thing of all that I saw back here was this huge, like, I don't even know what it was, mountain, like, weird terrain generation. It was just out of this world. It looks amazing. Okay, so I'm making my way up the side of the mountain right now, and it's kind of difficult because it's super steep. And we got some acacia trees. Wait, what biome even is this? This looks insane. Bruh. Yo, chill. Why are you trying to sneak up on me like that, bro? Calm down. This biome is a shattered savanna plateau. That is, that is cool. I never knew that was even a thing. And this seems like coarse dirt. And uh, coarse dirt is out here in the wild. That's pretty dope. I'm going to collect some of this because coarse dirt, you need gravel and dirt combined. And it's kind of annoying to go out and just grab all of those things. Let's see, there's some lava pools on the surface. I got to be real careful when I'm walking through these fields. But, oh, wow. What is this? I swear there's like, there's a tree up there. This is absolutely insane. By the way, guys, the seed that I typed- Oh, this looks so cool. The seed that I typed was Minecraft Hardcore. I didn't put a Z there. I think I already mentioned that at the very beginning. It was a typo. I didn't even realize it. But this seed is Minecraft Hardcore. H-A-R-C-O-R-E. This thing is sick. It's only about like 100 blocks away from spawn or so, I think. And we got a freaking coral reef back there. Gonna have to explore all this stuff later. When I get my elytra, dude, that, that's gonna make some epic thumbnails. But yeah, that, that is what it looks like for now. We just got some trees. Dude, building something up here could be amazing. Oh my god, it's almost night right now. It's like the sunset, and this place looks even better. Yeah, there definitely could be some sick builds going on here. I just want to look over here a little bit more before I go home. Oh, too many mobs, too many mobs. Maybe I should leave. I'm out now. Oh, and by the way, day 16, sugarcane farm time. Build it right next to the cow's pen. Day 17 was spent down all in the mines, you know, I gotta get all those diamonds, we gotta make a nether portal so we can hop into the nether. I'm on version 1.16.4, so that includes another update. Nether is a scary place though, so I gotta make sure I'm ready and all geared up. So I was mining down a stairway to get to Y level like 15 around, and I actually stumbled across some diamonds. Broke the first one and realized there was a lava pool underneath and I lost my first diamond. Pretty sad event. There we go, got our first diamond. Let's go, baby. Got the second diamond and that might have actually been it. I double checked around the place to make sure there was no more diamonds left. So that sucks because we could have gotten a three vein, which would have been enough to make a full diamond pickaxe. But now I'm going to have to go find another diamond vein. Ooh, there's some more lapis right there. I see you hiding underneath the water. A whole pickaxe and a starving one tap later. We finally found our next piece of diamond. This was a five vein right here, so that was pretty lucky. Now we have enough to make the pickaxe and it's time to go home. On my way out, I planted a sign that said the cave of death. And I think you guys know why when you just take a peek down. So I chucked back some of the iron into the furnaces and I crafted my first diamond pickaxe. This was a monumental moment in the world. Okay, your boy over here is starving right now. So I think it's time to go breed up some more animals and kill some. There you go, you all can breed up. I'ma kill you guys over here. I'm sorry, but I need the food. I'm gonna die here. Alright, we got five raw beef from that. Should be enough to hold me for a little while. On day 19, I was just working on the second floor of our house. I'm sorry if you guys can see some lag spots here. It's because, like, I'm walking through that one point I mentioned earlier in the video. I promise I'm gonna get this fixed somehow because I cannot play the game like this. I'm gonna get it fixed. Alright, so on day 19, I finished up most of the upstairs. I got, like, a good room going on over here. But the biggest focus was this tower. I didn't know how I wanted it to look. It was actually kind of difficult thinking of the ideas, but I went with some stone walls. And the roof is going to be pretty hard to make. I'm going to try doing that tomorrow. But I think a little tower just sticking out on the top would be kind of cool. Kind of like a lookout area. If I build more in this world, this would be a pretty nice view. On day 20, I started work on the roof. And first, I did a small round pointy roof. And it didn't look too good. And then I settled on this classic medieval styled roof. And I kind of liked it, so I went with it. Okay, so I'm almost done with this roof. I just got to add this last thing on here. One more slab. There we go. I think we're finally complete. So I'll show you guys around the house. So right up here, we go upstairs. This is kind of our little lookout balcony. We got a little lantern hanging from there. I think this turned out pretty good. And I replaced the cobble walls with just normal logs, by the way. Okay, I'm going to dump off all my stuff first, and then I'll talk to you guys. Okay, well, it is day 20, and I'm planning on doing about 20 days per episode. In season 1, I kept up my 25 to 20 day episodes for like about 100 days, and then I kind of just gave up on that. But this season, I'm going to try to stick to it as much as I can. There might be people out there thinking, oh, this guy sucks. He doesn't even have diamond armor yet, man. He's on day 20. 
I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm going slow on purpose to try to just capture everything in this game, just to enjoy it the most. And the reason I'm also doing only 20 days per episode is because this is a mix between, like, just going fast and just zooming through all the days and a mix of some commentary. Also, I have no idea why I put that window there. You can't even see anything because the staircase blocks it, so just, just don't ask. Yeah, but we got some cool things done in this episode. We got some lanterns. I really like those lanterns. We got a mini farm here. Our first starter house. That's almost complete. The second floor just needs a little bit of work. A sugarcane farm that's already all grown up and also a cow pen. With a skeleton in there. Hold up. We gotta get rid of him. No, I just saw him shoot one of the cows. There we go. He deserves death penalty. You can't be shooting my cows like that. Yeah, well, before it turns day and goes to day 21, I think I'm gonna have to end off this episode here, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Hopefully, the start of season 2 has gotten you guys excited for more videos to come. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.